This is a video about a 1971 Ford Falcon with an external voltage regulator. Um, that's it there. Um, what I discovered is that after I'd done all the wiring and reconditioned the voltage regulator, I then went and looked at the alternators that were going to go on it and they're all internal regulated um, alternators which is what the black box is and they're the same on all the motors I have um, so there's no point in wiring up um, an external voltage regulator when they're already on the alternators so I thought what's the point of having that so to I thought I'd just run pull all the wires out so um, of the voltage regulator so the yellow wire is just power that comes straight from the um, battery which is not going to be used the black and yellow wire is actually connected to a resistance wire and goes all the way through back into the dash to the ignition light or battery light or whatever you want to call there. Now that battery light has got power coming into it and the black and yellow wire coming back out. Now that's the actual lamp wire um, that goes to the alternator which comes all the way down through to here so I've just got to chop that off there bring that back down to the alternator because there's only two wires which is going to be left which is the charging wire which is way too long I don't know why they put it up through the loom there it should, it need, all it needs to do is that so I'm just going to shorten that and remove everything else so it's just going to be two wires to the alternator and the reason I'm making this is because um, there's nothing that I can find referencing old, I think it's what they call 1G Bosch alternators that are internally regulated. Um, regardless whether I'm going to use an old one or at some stage upgrade, it'll always be an internally regulated alternator. So there's no point for any of the external regulator wiring anyway that's how you do it if you're going to want to remove the wiring <laughs> 